boy, the infant baboon, chewed off his leg to escape a trap. Baboons in Namibia are routinely brutalized. Please help us ease their suffering. In Namibia, baboons are treated as vermin. They are shot by farmers, caught by humans, and their body parts used for traditional medicine. Many baboon mothers are killed, leaving innocent babies orphaned and defenseless. Boy, a young baboon, was caught in a steel-jawed trap. He fought so hard for his life that he freed himself by chewing off one of his back legs. Our Namibian partner, the Kalubi Sanctuary, was alerted by an outraged witness, and volunteers made the tough three-hour journey through the desert to investigate. When they reached Boy, he was still chained with the bone exposed from what was left of his leg. He was crying inconsolably for his mother. Boy was rushed to a vet who had to amputate his leg just above the knee. Then the Kalubi Sanctuary took over his rehabilitation. We're here at the Kalubi Chakma Sanctuary with Renee who rehabilitates and releases injured baboons. Boy's road to recovery was slow, but today he's the alpha male of the boys' troop at the sanctuary. Another baboon, four-month-old Lulu, suffered an equally horrific ordeal. She had been captured and kept alive so she could be tortured in preparation of traditional Namibian medicines. The so-called recipe was to have her thrown into a fire for ritual purposes and retrieved alive as she screamed in pain. The process would have been repeated until she died. Kalubi saved Lulu. She is now at the sanctuary, safe from further harm. But Lulu is just one of the scores of baboon babies flooding the shelter, saved from similar fates. As soon as they arrive, these babies need medical care, diapers, food, and love. It's a long and difficult process, but the good people who run the sanctuary possess the rare and necessary skills to help integrate the babies back into wild troops. It's just so special to witness this incredible connection and sacrifice. Every day, they walk with the baby baboons, supervising them as they forage in the wild. The Kalubi Sanctuary gets no help from government. They have turned to us for help, and we promise to ask our supporters for assistance so that we can give Lulu, Boy, and all the other rescued baboons the vital care they need to heal as they prepare to return to the wild. So please, if you can, donate to Network for Animals today so that we can help continue this incredible work.